So if you look at Gleason 4 plus 3, um, is it okay if I try to figure out who this is? Is that you? Okay, okay. Um, what was your PSA score? I think it was 6.6. 6.6, 6. okay. And did they say how many cores positive you had when you... Three of them were yeah. positive? Okay. So you, you fall in that intermediate risk prostate cancer, which most of the time we would tell you not to do the active surveillance just because you don't fall in that very low risk or low risk prostate cancer. So for you, we would tell you we would recommend treatment. And the treatment would fall into the two categories, either surgery or radiation. Um, and most reports show that the two are equivalent in curing your prostate cancer, which would be over 90% cure, choosing one or the other. Um, so those would be your options. And depending on the side effect profile, you would decide which route you'd want to take. Now, a lot of times people are biased. You talk to people, they're like, well, you know, I had a uncle or I had a brother or I had a friend that underwent radiation now you know he's having all these issues I don't, I don't want radiation you know I, I, I want to I want the surgery and you get some people I say oh my friend had surgery and he's in diapers and you know he doesn't have any erections uh, I don't want that I want I want radiation so in your own lives and people you talk to you're going to get biased by what people say yeah, I yeah. And, and it's and I would say the best thing is to get an opinion both from a urologist, a surgeon that does the surgeries, and a radiation guy, and figure out what the best step would be for you. And there's no right or wrong answer. There won't be a right or wrong answer. Um, it's going to be a judgment call for you of which route you want to take, depending on your biases and what you want to go through. And you get to, you, you see some people and they're just like, man, I don't want any surgery. I don't want, I don't want to be put under the knife. I'd want to do radiation. And some people are like, I want this out of me. Just get it out. I'll deal with the risk of surgery. I just want to know it's out of my body. And so you get, you get both camps um, and thought processes there. And neither one are, are wrong. You know, it's just sort of your judgment and your reading and people that you talk to. But I would definitely suggest you get an opinion from a surgeon and you get an opinion from a radiation oncologist and then decide for you what the best route of care would be. I wouldn't wait a year. I would, I, would tr I would make a decision within the next two to three months. I think that's a, that's a good timeline. Mm -hmm.